Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff out the Madden She's She's always got another full breakdown for you guys. Uh, I determined a free ebook, although I mean I can't give away a free ebook on YouTube. Obviously, it's a uh, it's a video, not the the written version like normal. But this is a full breakdown of the Steelers' offense. This is one of the best passing offenses, one of the most unique passing offenses in the game when it comes to some of the formations that it has. Uh, and I want to bring that to you guys uh, free because once a month I give you guys an entire free breakdown. I mean, to be honest with you, the ebooks have way more than I can give you through a video uh, as far as plays, as far as like written descriptions and, um, you know, a lot of stuff like that. Uh, but ultimately, this is the best I can do for my viewers. So today, full Steelers. Uh, let me know in the comments section what you would like the next full breakdown video to be about. Which offense, which defense, whatever, let me know in the comments section. Uh, hit the like button if you want me to continue to do this. Because I know these particular videos don't get as many views as my normal videos. Um, but, you know, I still think it's important to, to hook you guys up. Other than that, if you want to check out all my ebooks, link in the description below. Or go to madmoneyshot.com. You get all of them on my Patreon uh, for a monthly subscription. Check that out as well. Link in the description below. And you get all my free breakdowns and extra schemes on my Join Now community or on my Patreon as well. So, if you guys, you know, if Steelers aren't your cup of tea, if you want to see something different, you can get all that in those places. Other than that, let's go and let's get right into the video. Next up, we got the PA Shot Goes. So, here's another play. Um, both routes on both sides arch in a way that they can beat cover two. You just have to either streak uh, the, the tight ends. Uh, I think I accidentally snapped the ball, but that's fine. Uh, because I did get the tight end in there. And then you just bullet and pass leading away from the safety. Uh, it's going to be a explosive play like this if you run it to the open side of the field the way I am. I'm all the way on the hash mark here. So, this is a scenario where I can, I can have that space uh, to create separation. But if you run it from the center... It's going to be uh, a little bit harder to make that type of play. You'll probably most likely have to, I mean, you can throw it to either one, but you'll probably most likely have to uh, safe catch. And I'm going to pick the, uh, the side over here because we have, actually, you know what? I still have space, like I said, almost. I just don't have the space for the, for the catch and run. Next up, we got the four verticals. Against cover three, uh, and cover two, motion out the B route, put the X route on a drag, block the running back. Uh, the drag's a good check down. Against cover three, the RB route will get open right in the seam. Uh, it's a pretty consistent play. Against cover two, uh, you're gonna motion, like I said, the motion here is gonna get open. So we're gonna go, we're gonna pick cover two. Uh, we can just change this up. If it's cover two, just streak uh, the RB route. That's all you really gotta do. So like I said, right here, B route gets outside of cover two. Uh, tight throw, bit, bit to the boundary. He didn't even catch it. We'll do it one more time. I said against cover two, you can motion snap him because if you let him get set all the way to the boundary, that's part of the problem as to why he uh, why he ran out of space. So like I said, right there, cover two, get outside, cornerback trail a little bit. I keep forgetting to put the drag. Uh, you have to, that's part of the reason that the drag is important against cover two. So we'll set that one more time. The drag will help pull that cover two safety down. So let's go and do that again. Either way, he's catching it. Next up, we got the four verticals. So this play doesn't take any adjustments. Uh, the B route's a good outside route against cover two. You just have to bullet uh, and pass lead to the outside and safe catch at the boundary, uh, depending on how much space you have. If you have more space, it'll be a little bit easier. Uh, you know, obviously I'm running at the center of the field. Uh, but it's a good play. It's something you can do pretty consistently. Next up, we got the jet sweep. It's a good trick play run to throw uh, into things. Um, you know. Good trick play run to throw your opponent every once in a while. Uh, it's best if... I mean, you got your fastest guy a lot of times getting the ball. Typically, the receivers, if you have a receiver faster than the running back... Uh, you can get an explosive play out of it. So it's just something to, something to throw at your opponent to give them something to think about. Personally, I find jet sweeps are also very fun to run. 
Next up, we got the Sluggo Seam. So, I mean, this is another cover one play. The the B route here, uh, it's just designed. That's why the route's designed to go away from the cover one safety. Uh, there's no adjustments needed. You just have to watch and make sure that he actually gets separation. Uh, because even though it's a good route, it's not always uh, it's not always there. And sometimes you got to float it up and just out out speed your your receiver or your cornerback to it as well. Next up, we got the Z post Y out. Play can home run cover three with no adjustments. Uh, we just need to buy time in the pocket, uh, which is probably the hardest part. Uh, and they also want to typically roll into, um, you know, roll in the direction of the throw. Uh, but it doesn't really matter as long as you bullet and pass lead away uh, from the safety. Next up, we got a 26 dual alert X smoke. So this is a play here. It's a, a good cover three play, just as long as you run away from the box safety. Um, so if I'm running a cover three, if I'm running against a cover three or a cover four, uh, whatever side the uh, whatever I'm planning to do, whether it's a run or the smoke, it has to be away from that cover three safety. So right here we have, like I said, I mean, it, we, obviously flipping it's uh, pretty dramatic. I actually messed it up. I wanted to run, <laughs> I wanted to throw the ball. So like I said, right here, cover three safeties on this side. Got to if I want to throw the ball, got to do it to the side where the cover three safety is not. Uh, and they're both good plays, but it's like I said, it's a cover three, cover four play. Against cover four, it doesn't matter because there's no box safety. Next up, we got the PA misdirection shot. This play is a one play touchdown against cover three with no adjustments. Um, it's also one play touchdown against cover four with no adjustments, but we'll do that next. So the B route here, once he crosses that safety, uh, that's going to be your one play touchdown. It's really that simple. Then we'll do cover four. Like I said, you really just bullet and pass leading away once they cross the safety on both of these plays. So here's another one. Once that B route crosses that safety, um, you know, you really just got to rack catch it too. I think that's the most important part at the end there to make sure you secure that catch. Next up, we got the Sluggo scene. So this is a cover one play. Just put the RB and the A route on streaks just to pull the cover one safety across as much as possible. And the X route here, if he beats that uh, cornerback, which there, I mean, I float it up typically. When you have man coverage, you want to float the ball up and outside, especially when it comes to the X route. Uh, I'm sorry, when it comes to cover one, because you want this uh, this X route um, to get away from that safety. So that wasn't even really a clean release. He, he stayed with that pretty good. Uh, but like I said, the, the he gets a little enough separation that a lob is going to make it happen. And like I said, I lob it away, and that's why, um, you know, basically it, it beats that safety. Because Jamal Adams has covered a lot of space. If you mess up that throw, he's going to make, uh, make up for it and find you. Next up, we get the tight end attack. Just streak the A route. Uh, the RB route, you can do whatever you want. You can put them on a drag, a flat, whatever. Um, but ultimately, against cover two, the B route will get outside release of the cornerback, and you can just bullet and pass lead to the sideline. Uh, make sure that you safe catch on the sideline so you don't go out of bounds. Next up, we got the Y stick. Just put the A route on a streak, and the B route will beat the uh, the cover two safety outside. The second it gets past the cornerback, it's typically just a bullet and a pass lead away from the free safety. It's all about timing. If you do it from the open side of the field, you're going to have uh, more separation from the safety, uh, but it's not going to be enough. This isn't the type of play that can hit a home run against a cover two. Next up, we got the halfback inside zone. It's another play because of the formation pulling it the way that it does. Um, you can really get some good inside runs. Uh, but you can also kick it outside. I mean, it's a really good outside run as well. Um, but you don't really need, uh, you know, like I said, that, that guard. Like, that guard does a good job of holding the point of attack. And then he get, does a good job of the, by the time that you get there. Like, he creates that lane, like, right there. And then he also peels off. So here, I mean, that cornerback or that receiver just blasted that cornerback to the background. So that's just a really good run altogether. Really consistent run. Next up, we got the PA counter shot. 
Because I want to play touchdown against cover three and cover four. Just block the B route. Give yourself uh, a little extra, a little extra blocking to, to reel out to. And then just wait for this guy to cross. And you got to get a better throw than that. But you can see he's crossing. Let's go ahead and do this again. So just cancel that play action. Shorten the throw length by motioning out a little bit. And then you can see it's definitely there. Just not getting the most accurate throws. So I'm going to go ahead and do that one more time. With the cover four drop now. I said block that RB route because he's or the B route because he's going to get in the way. I don't want that. He's much more valuable as a blocker. And then once he crosses that safety again, we're just floating it up. Get a little bit of an animation there. But you'll typically get more separation than that. It's all just timing, pass leading, and bulleting away from the safety. Except we got the power O. It's the type of play, um, I personally like to flip it and go the opposite way. Uh, and based off of the fact that you have that overpowered three tight end um, look, you can see that you know typically the formation is aligned to that. It's it's kind of kind of forces the defensive formation across the way that it is. Now I can I could wait for that guy to engage that block, or I could just sprint away, which is typically what I'm doing. But that guy will get that block, and even if he gets that block, I mean I got to lead him into that. It's not necessarily worth it because Bobby Wagner might just shuck right through it, so it's best just to just to go outside. But a lot of times, if you have a fast enough lineman, he will get that block. Next up, we got the off tackle. Against man, it's probably best to run to the tight end side like a stretch. Against zone, typically going to run it the other way. Um, if you have a lane. Um, but that's typically the way to go. So like I said, right here, like I said they real push him out there. As you can see, that's just uh, some good blocking. It really pushes him to the side. And uh, that's typically how I'm going to want to run it. Like I said, they're, they're either going to hold that point of attack or kick them out, and I can go inside behind them. Uh, but it's really all about how that left tackle handles that edge defender. So there we go one more time. So he's just, you know, we're just getting it done here. Nice, consistent run. Next up, we got the Buck Smash. Against cover four, just flat this uh, receiver here. Um, it's good practice just to motion across the, the, the RB route and put him on street because that's going to be the cover to adjustment anyway. Um, so, like I said, against cover four, this B route really doesn't cover, or this doesn't get covered against cover four. I still threw it too early. You really have to wait throwing it because of pressure. But ultimately, like I said, it's also the cover two setup. Just to look right there. I'm trying to streak A, but it ain't let me. All right, so yeah, right here, cover two. It's going to be a much bigger play against cover two because the way that the streak and the flat spread the defense apart when a cover two comes. Um, so a real easy play. You can also, it also works against cover three like that. Next up, we got the fade out. Against cover three, just put the uh, the X route on the streak. You can also streak the A route or block them. Block the running back for sure. I'd say blocking the A route is probably best. Uh, and then motioning this guy out here is going to make even more sense because you're going to try to beat this safety. So motioning him out. Uh, the X route here, won't the, the, the cornerback won't stay with the X route. He'll eventually have to drop down. I'll have to go to the replay to show that a little bit better. Uh, but ultimately, that's going to be a really big play against cover three. Go on, let's watch the replay. It's also going to be a play against cover two, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, but we're really watching this uh, this cornerback here. He's going to he's gonna start off by going with this streak. And then he's going to eventually drop down. You can see right there, he'll eventually turn his attention to this area and because otherwise that play would be there so it's really his choice which one he wants to lose to and uh, then you just bullet and pass lead away from the free safety you can make that same motion in the cover three variation and it'll help to get that uh, the x route open the same way um, i probably still threw it a little bit early but you can see how successful that is next up we got the halfback zone week it's another good short side run depending on what you're looking at um, but just a consistent bread and butter run. These zone weeks are pretty good. I don't. I don't think this is necessarily one of the one of the better ones, but it's um, you know it's definitely consistent. I could actually bust it outside and had a really big run there. Um, but like I said, it's a consistent run. I'm not going to say like it's a home run type of play, uh, especially when you have a guy split out like that linebacker there. That's going to actually get in the way. Um, so ultimately, it's almost best like we have another linebacker split out here. You, pretty, you typically want to motion one of these guys across, uh, just give you a better chance as far as blocking. So. Uh, just like other formations, I mean, if it's a man coverage, um, you don't want to motion a guy across because you're going to get an extra defender across. But if it's a zone coverage, you want to motion a guy across 
uh, to give yourself a blocking advantage. So right here, it looks like we got another zone. Uh, and then we're just gonna, you know, it's gonna it's gonna be at that uh, that point of attack. Uh, pretty consistent run, like I said, a bread and butter run for a formation like this. Something you can run a lot. Next up, we got the jet sweep. Another good play. An outside run, pretty consistent, five to ten yards, depending on what defense you're looking at. Might be best against man, like right here. There's no cornerback outside. Also want to run to the open side of the field. Uh, but I don't feel like moving the play because <laughs> I know more of the plays from this formation are going to be needed for the wide side. So whether it's, I mean, the only defense is really going to give this issues is cover two zones. So that's about it. Next up, we got the PA dig. Just a cover one man play. Um, you're just kind of waiting for the X right here. As you can see, he gets across that formation really quick. Uh, it's probably one of the faster cover one uh, one play touchdowns as well just remember to block I mean you don't really need the tight end doing what he's doing either you can block everybody really um, I, I think that the uh, the tight end probably serves a bit of a purpose but ultimately I mean the X route's really the way anyway so I mean he's just he's just just roasting this I don't even fumble there you can block the RB route that's not really necessary and the way this game's user is this year, um, you can't really, there, there's not going to be any user covering issues here. So uh, part of the reason that the Sean's burning it like that, he doesn't get jammed at all. It's just the way that the play is designed if you watch. Um, if you watch the way that this route, I mean, he doesn't get touched because the RB route goes outside. He just slips underneath. Um, and that's really what makes this play so successful is it can't really get any hands on him. Next up, we got the PA Fork. This is a cover three, one play touchdown uh, with no adjustments. I'm going to block the RB route, give myself plenty of blocking. Uh, we're just going to have a wall here protecting me. And then once this guy gets past, um, past the free safety, it's a touchdown. Really simple. Also works against cover four, but we got to motion this guy out. So we'll create our wall of blockers again. Get that play action. Like I said, we got nothing with blockers. And then that X route. Gets past that safety one more time. And we got a tutty. Ooh, we got a tutty. Ooh, we got a tutty. Next up, we got the PA Steeler shot. Against cover two, the uh, the B route's going to be really good. If you just streak the X route, he'll pull the, the, the cover two safety off him enough so that he can make a really big play. So cover two won't play touchdown. Also a decent route against man, but it can be a little bit spotty. Next up, we get the halfback inside zone. Another good inside run play, nice bread and butter type play. I mean, um, you know the holes, the holes open up. Bottom line, uh, a lot of times these uh, these defenders just take themselves out of the play. Uh, but even if they don't, I mean, there's the, the blocks hold up. You get some nice sticky blocks, and then you see you can just get some really explosive runs out of this. Next up, we got the PA boot flood. Just block the A and B route against cover three. This is going to be a one-play touchdown. It's also going to be a one-play touchdown against cover four. Uh, but it's a, it's a boot, so I like to, to roll out. And now you can see we're going to get a really easy pass uh, because we're shortening the length by rolling out. Against cover four, it's the same deal. So we're just going to roll out. And you can see it really spreads the secondary with that uh, that crossing route. I mean, that really spread those safeties. They didn't necessarily give me like a bigger than normal uh, touchdown or, you know, separation, but still really helpful. Next up, we got the PA Flood. Just to cover two play, put the wire out on a streak. And uh, the, uh, I should have canceled the play action too because it could mess up the timing. But basically, the X route it's going to get open to the sideline. Just bullet, pass lead to the side, and uh, make sure you safe catch so that you don't go out of bounds. Next up, we got the PA boot slide. So on a play like this, uh, the B route would get in the way. But against cover four, you either want to put him on an out route or uh, on, a, on a flat route. It really doesn't matter. Just something short like that. Uh, and he's gonna, they're going to pull the, the coverage down. It doesn't really pull the coverage down. I don't think that's the right word to say. But they just they just fall flat. And it lets the receiver get behind them. So they don't have anything pulling them back. So that they're in position and then they're way out of position. Next up, we got the post shot. On a play like this, you don't really have to make any adjustments against cover four. 
Uh, so we'll pick cover four here. Um, this is a, a, a natural cover four one play touchdown. Uh, you just have to wait for that X route there to get past uh, that one, uh, that free safety. And then you can see uh, this is a natural one play touchdown against cover three and four. Uh, the X route probably would pass through uh, most man coverages, like man cover one and whatnot. So you really just have to uh, just you know wait till it crosses the field, and he's gonna, you know, he's gonna he's gonna beat it over the top. I mean, nothing's really pulling the cover three corner back, so that's part of the reason it collapses. It's a lot like cover fours. Cover fours are the same way. So I'm gonna switch over to the cover four now. This here might be better if I do a little bit of an adjustment, like putting Goddard on a flat, putting uh, the the uh, Ertz on on a. On a Really, just anything. I can block him. I mean, just you know, for against cover fours, you want really flat coverages, uh, really flat um, looks because this, uh, this, you know, you want those safeties and that cornerback to stay down and be out of position by the time the receiver crosses the field. It's also a really consistent play um, as is. If you motion this guy in, uh, you're really just trying to work uh, the two tight ends. They're ba they're basically going to um, the high low. One of them's going to get open against most zones. That's just how it is, uh, but ultimately it's going to be if you run it like that, where you're just kind of using it like a bread and butter play, uh, you're just really just looking for the A or the B route pretty much every time. You see right there, the zones drop down, so you take the higher route. It's really that simple. Next up, we got the Bills Verts. This play here, motion out to Sean against cover three. The um, the A route's going to be open right in the seam. It's not going to be like a home run play, but it's going to be very consistent. Cover three, it's always going to be there. Against cover two, streak the um, you're going to have to streak the uh, the A route, and Deshaun will be a big play over top of the cover two cornerback. Just got a bullet pass lead to the outside, safe catch stuff like that. Especially when you got a safety like Jamal Adams out there. Against man, I also like to put the uh, the X route on a drag, although the running back's a pretty good check down, but you could also block him. And then, I mean, this isn't a man coverage, but ultimately you're going to have a really good check down underneath with the drag. Really good, safe, easy catch and run. Next up, we got the bunch trail. Against cover three, block the running back, block the tight end. Shift the uh, slide the protection to the right, and then put the RB route on a smart route. And that's going to uh, shorten him. Uh, to the point where you're basically just waiting for this X route to clear. And I, I typically like the roll in that direction, but the protection wasn't wasn't holding up to let me. Uh, but it doesn't really matter. As you can see, it's a really big play. Against cover four, just block the same two guys. Um, the RB route, I mean, I don't. You can you can just put him on a drag. I'd say smoke the B route. Just short routes is all you really need because ultimately. Um, you're just trying to get create separation there actually threw the ball kind of late, but it won't matter So <laughs> so you're just waiting for him to cross inside the safety and then you just bullet pass leading away from the free safety And it's another one play touchdown Next up we have the corner strike Against cover three You can really run it two ways you can motion the running back out put them both on a streak him in the X route and then streak the RB route uh, That's just to keep the safety over as much as possible uh, and then you can see once that cornerback bites on the um, on the corner route, you can throw the uh, the one play there, or you can just put him on a streak, uh, streak the Y route from from the backfield, motion snap the B route, and uh, it'll have a, a similar success. But as you can see here, I mean, this is all about the pass lead because the safety does come over more dramatically uh, in the second variation. So you really have to get a good pass lead for the second one to work. Next up, we got the counter Y. Good run play. Uh, I mean, you can see right there at a hole right up the middle. A lot of times that's where the where the lane will be this year. Um, although you can also have a lot of holes to the outside uh, against larger formations like I'm running it against right now. I have a little bit of a disadvantage, uh, but against smaller formations, it will be really uh, really consistent. As you can see right there, we get another big run once again. Could have almost one guy away from a big play, um, but you know this is pretty much this is pretty much all you need to do. You can see right there. Now we're gonna get that big play. Next up, we got the deep corner. So there's two ways to do this against cover three. You can put the X route here on an out route and then smart route them. Although I keep messing that up uh, at 10 yards. If you smart route them at 10 yards um, and then, you know, motion out to Sean. Motioning out to Sean is non-negotiable. You have to do that both times. But motion out to Sean and it'll be a one-play touchdown just like this. 
Uh, but ultimately, uh, that's that's more if they patch it, it'll probably go back to that way. But you don't really have to do that. Now you just have to motion out to Sean. That's all you got to do. Block the running back, uh, motion out to Sean, and that's all you got to do. It'll be a one-play touchdown against cover three because this cornerback here uh, will just get beat deep. He just won't react. Uh, and then, you know, you just bullet pass lead away from the safety and you got a one-play TD. Against cover four, same idea. Block the running back before I forget. I like to shift the protection to the left because that's why I want to roll. I want to roll to the left just because I don't necessarily have the arm power otherwise uh, if I'm throwing the opposite way of the field. But you can see once he crosses the free safety, it's going to be a one-play touchdown the same. Next up, I got the divide wheel. It's another good cover to play. Just motion in the X route here, put him on a streak. That's pretty much it. You could also streak the A route, get a similar effect with the running back on the other side, but ultimately it's not going to be as big as the uh, as the Y route. The Y route's really the focus. Next up, out of the Gunnaby Bunch, we have the verticals. Against cover three, motion this guy out. The uh, the running back will get open in the seam, and the B route will get open outside. Uh, if you want a bullet and, and pass lead to the boundary, let's go. Let's pick that cover two. You want to streak the RB route. Typically, you want to drag the Y route because that's going to help with the cover two cornerback. But we're really just waiting for this B route to get outside. Bullet pass lead, safe catch, and got a big play against cover two as well. Next up, we got the Y curl. Against cover two, just motion in this uh, receiver here, put him on a streak. That will be the focus. We're going to go to switch to a cover two real quick. Uh, that's pretty much it. The Y route's going to get outside and be a big play. Just got a bullet pass lead to the sideline. You can make a catch and run and make a big play out of this. It's a good route. Next up, we got the Steeler Go. So, motion in the, the Y route here, put him on a streak. That's really all I got to do. And then the X route here is going to be a big play to the outside of cover twos. So that's really the only point of this play. Not a lot of other defenses that's going to beat uh, other than cover two. Next up, we got the Stutter Hook. So we're just trying to get this X route out here going, uh, which is pretty easy because it's it's designed to beat cover one man. So it's one of the easier cover one man beaters. You're just kind of just watching him, making sure that he actually does what he's supposed to and beats the route because, you know, there you can just see, if you watch him, you can just see the, the, the DB stutter uh, on that throw. So really easy play. Next up, we got the Drive H wheel. So, motion running back to the side. Against cover threes, um, you know, cover fours, cover twos. He's going to get outside most of the coverages. Still a really good play. Um, actually, might be even better now. Um, because the cover twos don't cover it that well either outside. As you can see right here, he's just getting, he's just almost getting outside for a catch and run. We can almost house call it. Against cover four, cover two, just put the X route on a streak. And the, uh, the Y route will beat it outside. So that's really all you gotta do right there for a cover two, a big play against cover two. Also works against cover four. Next up, we got the fade out. Another good cover to play. Just gonna hit the wire out once he passes the cornerback here. And you can just drop it in the bucket. Cornerback can turn and run, but it's still usually a pretty good play. Next up we got the bench. Against cover two, motion across the tight end, put him on a streak. Actually, put the Tampa 2 on. That's all you really got to do. I like to flat the, the corner out. 
Like I said, he'll drop down on that and it'll make this even more open. And this is an easy one play touchdown against cover two. That route will also work against cover four. Uh, against cover three, I mean, the best thing you can do really is, uh, is you know, this, this Y route can dot this up. Because the, um, a lot of times, for whatever reason, it, it just doesn't cover the same on the one side as it does on the other side. So you can dot that up, but that's really the route. Cover two, cover three, cover four. Against man can also be a pretty good route if you're in a defense where the safety is covering uh, the corner or covering the receiver. Next up, we got the cross wheels. Against cover three, just streak the Y route. Put the X route here. Um, you know, it's going to get the X route open outside. It's pretty much going to be the route throughout the play. Same effect. It's cover two, but in cover two, I don't want to motion them out because I don't want I don't want to run out of space. And right there, I actually ran. I had to throw it early because I ran right into the uh, right into the defensive end. So let's do that again. Like I said, I don't have to make any adjustments here. This is cover three still. And like I said, I mean that dra that drag is really what makes you know it's going to get up against cover two or cover three. Doesn't matter. Next up, we got the slot fade cross against cover two. Just streak the wire out. And the X route is pretty much gone. I mean, it just has to respect that inside streak. It's a very unique route. And it's very explosive against cover two. Next up, we got the PA cross shot. For use against a lot of shit. Streak the A route, streak the Y route. And this is pretty much going to be the look no matter what defense you're running it against. Um, you're really just playing the high versus the low coming across. Like, we have cover three right here. You can see, I mean, that's going to... You know, that, that, that could really be gone up the seam. Uh, I also find that putting the X on a, um, on a streak helps as well. Um, against, like I said, against like cover twos, that route might not necessarily be there as much. Uh, but other than that, I mean, it's going to be pretty consistent. Here we got a cover two. Like I said, you can see it's pretty much, it's almost, you know, if I had more room, I could be catching and running this for, for much bigger plays if I wanted to move the ball over. So against pretty much any zone, it's going to have that effect. That includes cover four, if I have that in the in here. Like I said, this is just, you know, usering ain't what it was. So this is something that you can run pretty consistently. So against cover four, um, you can do the same thing. Usering really isn't, uh, isn't really what it was. You can see right there. That's going to take a tight throw, though. So now we got that cover three look one more time. And like I said, I mean, that cornerback's just sitting back. Not really something you're going to get going a lot of get with, but it's a really big play. But I'm really going to focus on one particular play because this is a one-play scheme. This Steeler dig play at the top here can home run just about every single defense in the game, and I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So whether it's man coverage, zone coverage, I'm going to show you guys a setup to beat cover one, two, three, four, you name it, out of this particular play. Uh, and if I have a little bit of time, I'll try to put a little scheme together. Although ultimately, that will probably go on a little bit too long, and I'll probably have that on my Patreon or on my Join Now community community uh you know links in the description below or hit the join button i'll have a, a full length uh breakdown for that but like i said we're gonna focus on the Steeler dig because this is one of the best passing plays in the game i'm mad that i already put out top five passing plays video because this would definitely be on there it's one of the glitchiest plays in the game we'll start off uh, we'll, we'll leave man to the to the end because ultimately um, I might th that might be the second play that I show might have a man beater in it as well. So let's go. And let's pick, let's start off with Tampa two and then we'll work our way to cover three, cover four, etc. So cover two is probably one of the easiest ones as far as this play is concerned. All you really have to do, uh, like I said, you have to read the defense a little bit. It's not too hard to read a defense. Typically, when you have two high safeties, the the DBs are five yards off the line of scrimmage. That's a cover two. Uh, you can see the B route here is completely uncovered. So all I'm really going to do all really have to do is streak the x route that's just to pull that safety on the uh on claypool side out a little bit that's all that's really about um, against the computer i'm going to want to do something like a slant or you know just something to uh, to occupy the uh, the user middle linebacker but in a game that's typically going to be somebody <laughs> that's going to be a, a person so you don't really have to do that but for this scenario you know just putting something in that area 
just so that linebacker doesn't drop back. If, if there's nothing there, a computer linebacker is going to drop back. So it's best to just occupy that guy. But nothing else is really relevant. I don't really have to do anything else. I find the A route is really going to come in handy when pulling the safeties apart even more. So that's something I definitely won't, don't want to get rid of. But against cover, too, this is pretty much going to be the look. And this is going to be one of the easier uh, home runs right up the middle there. You can see that linebacker, he just hesitates a little bit. And Chase Claypool, he's going to go off just like he did against the Eagles. He's going to have four or five touchdowns in this game or in this practice mode. Uh, but let's go and let's watch the replay because, like I said, I'm not going to, for time constraints, I'm only going to run this maybe once, twice tops against each individual defense. So, like I said, this particular guy here, he's not going to do a lot in this video except for pull coverage a lot. And you can see he really just, the whole, he just basically collapses this side of the field. The cornerback's there. The safety, you can see, reacts to him. If the safety didn't have him to react to, he would definitely uh, come in more towards the action. So this guy here really is going to be a decoy for just about every single defense that I run this against. Uh, and then, like I said, this guy right here, he doesn't stay home. The linebacker doesn't stay home. But you'll see if I ran it without it, he definitely doesn't hesitate like he does here. He basically squares up with the possibility, and that's basically what makes, keeps him from dropping directly because he's in mid-read. That's what keeps him from dropping directly into the crossing uh, tight end. And then, like I said, that streak, the idea of that streak is really what makes the safety stay home. So it's really an easy concept. You can see, I mean, cover twos aren't necessarily the hardest to beat, but there are certain parameters here that make this possible. <coughs> So I'll run it one time just like this. I mean, let's say that I, uh, you know, I'll just put the, the B route on the streak. And watch what happens. That linebacker, he'll just do a straight drop, and you can see he's right in the way of the ball. So like I said, you just need, against a user or against a computer, you need something in the way there. So we'll just do it one more time just to show you guys consistency. It's not really like it's, <laughs> like it's really hard to say, but you can see, I mean, it's a really quick home run just as long as you, uh, I probably should have waited a little bit longer, but it's a very easy one play touchdown against cover too. Against cover three, the only things you really have to do in this play is put the B route on a streak and uh, block the running back. That's probably like the best things. I mean, you don't have to really block the running back either, but you obviously want the time. In cover threes, it takes just a little bit longer to get that guy across the field, uh, the Y route. So ultimately, uh, that's going to be the best way to do it. To get him across the field a little bit quicker, if you smart route him, especially if you're at like eight yards, like this is a, they're, they're, the practice mode is based off of like first and 10. So he'll smart route and he'll angle, he'll break at about 10 yards. So if it's like, you know, second and eight or something, uh, he'll break even faster and that'll help to get across the, the defense a lot faster so that's pretty much the only thing you can do if it's like a third and five or something like that you probably don't want to do that so like i said all you really have to do put the b around the streak block the running back and then i'm just going to wait for him to cross the field i mean that's obviously uh probably the hardest part but you can see right there i had to throw a little bit early you can see the spacings there i have to run again because i had to throw a little bit more than i wanted to so we're going to do that one more time like i said streaking the b routes the most important part blocking the running back so you have a little bit of time uh those are the most important things and you're going to see how, you know, this play right here, it's a really easy one-play touchdown. Uh, as you can see, we get uh, right past that cover three defense. Real easy. Now, the real challenge is cover four. I know what you're thinking. How can you use this to beat cover four? Uh, cover four drop show two doesn't have a ton of, uh, I mean, I'm in a cover four out of a dollar because that's what the Chiefs have. But cover four doesn't have a ton of plays against it. I know a lot of people tell me that they struggle against cover four. So this is going to make you happy because this beats cover four as well. So we're just going to motion across the X route now. Once again, if you can read cover four, if your opponent's running cover four all game, motion him across, put him on a, uh, on a smoke. That's all you really have to do. Put him on a smoke. Then I'm going to block my running back once again, just give myself extra time. The last part is putting the B route on an in route and then smart routing him, and that's all you have to do. Now, once again, I, I like to put the A route on a smart route sometimes, but that doesn't really matter. Same thing with the Y route. It doesn't really matter that. We're going to run it just like this, and you're going to see, once again, how this guy just splits the defense, and we're getting right over the top for another touchdown. And that was actually tighter coverage than what I'm used to, so I'm going to run it again. So just to show you guys what makes this play happen, basically the, the smoke route is just to get him out of the way. I don't want him making anything, uh, you know, I don't want him pulling anybody back. So if I could delete him from this play entirely on a cover four, I would. But what's really making this play happen is this guy here, once again, this decoy tight end gets a lot of respect. You'd swear that that's like Rob Gronkowski in his prime because the second that he breaks, you can see how that safety behind him breaks. That's basically what makes this play happen. And neither one of those guys, because both of these receivers are pretty pretty much running short routes. These two guys 
they split the field in half. Neither one of them really gets past the 30, uh, which is what I want. So they're staying shallow while these, well, this guy here is the only one running a deep route, and that's the reason that it works. So he's past the 30, but since the way the computer reads this is he's on the other side of the field, so they don't really pay attention to that as much as they would. The last piece is this guy right here. He come, Him coming across is just basically the way they read it is now there's three guys, all of them short, shallow routes on this side, so it prevents these guys from dropping back like they probably probably should be and then basically once he gets inside of this uh inside of this free safety all you have to do is bullet and pass lead away i'm sure the second he's even with him i always say when he's even he's leaving if i go back to the quarterback i guarantee you i'm throwing it at this point and i'm probably already in my throwing motion so like i said once he gets inside i'm basically bullet pass leading away loading up and at this point, I mean, that safety's way out of the way. He must have really recovered well because he's like 10 yards behind. So I really didn't get a great pass lead, and there was a pretty decent recovery there. But ultimately, you're going to see a lot of touchdowns out of this. Let's go and let's run that one more time. This is one of the, uh, as far as setups go, this is probably one of the, uh, the, the bigger setups as far as, like, what you have to do. But, I mean, if somebody's running a lot of cover fours, we all need cover four beaters in our life. So, like I said, this guy Washington here, I don't even really have to put him on a smoke route. I could motion snap him and make him a blocker. That's not something that he's, he's not really doing anything other than pulling guys away. And then, like I said, right here, now that's a little bit more separation. I'm not really getting the throw. I don't know if Roethlisberger doesn't quite have the arm. But you can see the separations there. He, he really could be getting it out further. But bottom line is it's an easy one-play touchdown against a dollar cover four drop show, too. It also has a very effective play against cover four quarters, cover four match, cover four palms. They have a lot of different names. Uh, but if you motion across this B route here and put him on a comeback, that's really all you have to do. And you're basically going to uh, turn these... Um, you know, basically turn these four quarters into man coverages. I like to put the A route in a comeback as well. If I know I'm targeting that Y route, it's going to be more successful uh, if I do a lot of man, if I do that uh, that look. And then you can see this guy here basically just gets over the top. Now, once again, he's not quite getting the separation that I'm expecting. Uh, we'll do that one more time. Uh, but you can see if you watch, I mean, he just gets right past him. So, like I said, putting these guys on comebacks, I mean, you can even put them on smokes. It doesn't really matter. They all identify as man coverages and drop, and that's basically uh, the most important part so like i said lobbing that up sprinting out there to get the ball threw it a little bit far ben couldn't get it done but you can see he gets behind the defense is the bottom line do it one more time just to complete this get a little bit of separation i wish i had like a tyree kill or something like that but that'd be just completely cheating uh chase claypool is the fastest guy he's a 92 speed um, and you can see, I mean, he's definitely getting the job done uh, as we're going to be scoring. Like I said, not quite getting the separation, but we're definitely getting past, and that's the only thing that matters. We're getting these 50-yard touchdowns. So against man coverages and, like, man all-out blitzes, I mean, obviously the running back and the tight end aren't really important. So I can do whatever I want with them. Blocking them makes the most sense. I would say slanting or dragging the B route for a good check down. I mean, these are all man beaters, the comeback route, all of them. So I basically just want to buy some time for this Y route to get uh, get across the field here. And you can see, I mean, that's going to be an easy play too. So, I mean, this is something against man zero, very obvious. Against man, same set as cover three. Streak the B route, block the running back. That's pretty much it. Um, and you're just going to wait for the Y route to cross the field once again. I mean, you're pretty much figuring this out on its own. So I'm going to end the video there. We home run every defense except cover two man. That's one of the reasons I run cover two man so much in my gameplays. Uh, but if you want to see more from this formation or more from this playbook, do me a favor. Let me know in the comment section or the like button. Other than that, thanks for watching Mad Mush It Out. Next up, we have the PA Deep Cross. This play right here, all you're going to do is streak the A route and put the Y route in a drag. It doesn't really matter if it's man or zone. Uh, the B route's going to have a lot of success. The Y route's typically going to be open too. So you really have your choice. You're really just watching those two routes. Like I said, man or zone, they're both successful. Uh, one's a little bit more consistent as far as uh, a check down, which is the drag. But you can really hit you know large chunk plays out of this every time. Next up, we have the tight end in. This is another really good cover two play. All you have to do is streak the X route. Typically, the um, the receivers get bumped, uh, but the Y route, for whatever reason, does not. So they never lose their acceleration. And the way that he basically just runs his route straight down the middle, all you got to do is pass lead inside a little bit, and you got an easy one-play touchdown. We'll go to the replay real quick. Um, all you really have to do, like I said, streak that outside route. If you watch, these streaks typically get jammed. On both sides, you'll see that if I had a receiver on the other side. But they get jammed. They get pushed around. They lose their acceleration. The point is to push them in towards the safety. This guy here, though, this route, this particular route, which is very rare, is not programmed to do that. So he basically just runs right by him. And then, like I said, you're just basically, I mean, 
based off of the streak, you can see that this guy here has turned the other direction. So at that point, I'm just pass leading inside and running to the ball, and we're getting a really easy play. If you really wanted to split these safeties apart, which I typically would do, you can motion out your running back or you know, do something like that. We'll do that real quick. Uh, this route here, the B route's really not doing anything, so I can motion him across, put him on a streak just to get that look. Uh, block the running back once again because he's not really doing anything, but ultimately just to get that look where those safeties are pulled apart a little bit better. But you can see it doesn't really matter, but it's really helpful to spread the defense, obviously, and this thing's just pitch and catch. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.